sometimes it is difficult to love. And sometimes it is not always easy living in community. Today's gospel, we hear the very end of chapter 6 in John, the gospel of John. It begins that the disciples were murmuring among each other. Before, it was the religious leaders. Now, the infighting has landed in the community. And some of them are saying, the saying is hard. We can't do this. We don't want to do this. We're not sure what that saying was of Jesus. It's not stated clearly in in the gospel reading. Sometimes we think it might have been Jesus referring to himself as the bread of life, but we really don't know what that source of division was among the community. But there was a source of contention. And some of the disciples chose to no longer believe and no longer be part of the community. And at the end of that gospel reading, there's a sense of, you almost feel this sense of anguish and disappointment or letdown or hurt in Jesus when he turns to the twelve and says, what about you? Are you going to leave me? He was feeling abandoned. And Peter confesses Jesus as Messiah, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of everlasting life. We know that you are the Holy One of God. And we've casted our lot with you as the Holy One of God. This week, I think the gospel challenges us to reflect and be aware, where are the places within us where we find difficulty? Where there's difficulty in our heart to love? Where we are challenged to love others? Maybe others who are very close to us. And how can God, as Christ, as the Holy One of God, call us to trust deeply in the One who calls us to love, trusting that God is with us always, and God is with us in that difficulty and challenge? For we know that the Holy One of God is here among us. Amen.